for me, happiness is not rainbows and unicorns. It's actually going to the science of it. It's the fact that we now know from an academic perspective, it's about having a sense of control, autonomy. It's about having a sense of progress. It's about connection, like deep connection. And of course, ultimately, most sustainable form of happiness is having that higher purpose. So why I think it is possible for everyone to get to this place if not necessary, because our time is so short on, you know, in this world, is that we just really need to have that reflection within ourselves. And so it's not about having this happy-go-lucky look, you know, and, and person that's like living their purposeful life. Hey, that's the inspiration. No, the inspiration is what inspires you as an individual and doing the work, not the work to get paid, but the work within is actually the most impactful thing you can do to say that everyone can potentially get to this place, but it is hard work. I call it the easiest hard thing you'll ever do in life because <laughs> <laughs> you can't compare it to Louise. You can't compare it to you. Like, obviously, you know what you're doing. You're living purposefully, but what is it within you that really sparks you and really what brings you down too? got to be really holistic about not just our strengths, but also our shadows and being able to explore that with like embracing it is just so important right now, especially with well-being and mental health being such a big issue. What do you mean by that? But, I mean, I've, I've heard of the shadow self. I've heard others speak to it kind of, but what, what do you mean in this context? I mean that we all have sides of us that we may not have completely addressed and perhaps because it's so painful um, or things that we just sweep under the rug of like, oh, you know, that thing makes me feel icky. Why would I go there? And that's I totally understand it's human nature. But I think those are actually what's in, you know, what's in those closets, what's in those shadows are actually sometimes the most revealing parts of who we are inside. And revealing in the sense of if I can address those things, then I can actually live that much more fully. It's like not cliche when you say uh, you got to hit your lows to hit your highs. It's like actually true because if you think about this one way, uh, we, we have an exercise called happiness heartbeats. It's talking about you're the star of your own show. What are your highs in life? What are your lows in life? And the lows are so important because every time you think about those lows, think about like what you were thinking, what you're feeling and how crappy it was. And then think about the next high that you were at that came eventually after. It's understanding those low moments that gets you, gives you the fuel and a, a huge reminder that you'll get to the next high somehow because you've done it before. So I think that's just a big reminder of like why shadow sides and you know our blind spots are so important in really truly living a full life. If you are loving the conversation that I'm having with Jen Lim, you've got to hear the whole talk. We dig into what makes us happy at work, why right now is the time to relook at your purpose and your passion, and most of all, why so many companies, big and small, get culture wrong. Click on the link right over there to hear the full talk.